Hello, my name is John and this is my HRM project. The first question asks me to tell you about myself. I would like to say that I'm a leader. I take control of most situations in which I have prior knowledge to and I enjoy leading others. If I don't have any prior knowledge, that's alright, I will sit back and learn from those who have this knowledge and try to help out the best I can. I believe I am an easygoing person who is easy to not only get along with, but someone who works well with others. I am able to create good task conflict by challenging ideas and creating discussions about problems with other people I work with. I enjoy solving problems that either I have or other people around me have, and I believe that I search endlessly to find the answer because if I don't know the answer, I become intrinsically motivated and am driven to find the answer. I'm oftentimes very curious as I enjoy knowing why something works the way that it does. The world around me sparks intellectual thought and I start to really figure why everything is the way that it is. Oftentimes I'm very organized, I have a schedule most of the time and I try to stick to it, but oftentimes I have the ability to conform and improvise when I'm off schedule. I believe that as I am someone who has the ability to learn from others. Oftentimes I'm a hands-on learner, but most of the time I watch others complete tasks and I take initiative after watching them and try it myself. I would like to say that I am intrinsically motivated as a person because I am always trying to better not only myself, but everyone who surrounds me. I enjoy working in small teams most of the time because I enjoy taking the feedback that I receive from others and learning from it. I am a person who consistently strives to become better as oftentimes I go out of my way to better myself. In a group project we had in class, I asked my group leader what I could have done better throughout the project to become a better individual, and I took her feedback, and I am currently evaluating it now. The second question asked me to tell you about a significant accomplishment in my life. Well, this happened when I was a high school senior. I had the opportunity to work as a shift manager at a company called Get Air. Um, this establishment it was primarily it was a trampoline park where I would like to say about 900 people would come through on any given shift on any weekend, and as the shift manager, I was really in charge of everything. Um, I really worked with customer complaints, but I was never really properly trained. So on my free time, I would look up articles and videos on how to best deal with these complaints that the customers had. I felt that learning how to deal with this it's a very big value of mine. And I believe it's one of the biggest keys to success in business, as you cannot succeed without this skill. I read, I read in the Wall Street Journal the other day that Wells Fargo has been desperately trying to salvage their business with enhanced customer service after the CEO has left after the fake bank account scandals. But getting back to being the shift manager, I was also in charge of managing all the money during the shift. So I had to close all the registers, deal with customer refunds, and withdraw money from the bank. Um, oftentimes, the manager who was in charge of me wasn't on the shift, so I was in charge of creating a resonant environment to keep my coworkers motivated and working efficiently. Um, I would have meetings with my manager on how to create efficiency with the company by determining how many people to staff for each part of the day. And I also took inventory for the company and made orders to re-up on supplies before we ran out. With this experience of being a shift supervisor at 17 years old, it caused me to learn how to lead others at such a young age. That experience ultimately taught me the ins and outs of how the business world worked, and looking back on the experience, I'm able to see a lot of the ideas I have learned in class recently effective in a real-time business situation. It also gave me the courage and self-esteem that one in the business world needs in order to be successful. It gave me the hands-on knowledge that I needed to learn in order to put me ahead of all my peers. Without this knowledge, I wouldn't be as successful as I am in class today. The last question is to tell me something that you have learned in class. But uh, since I've enrolled in the Fox School of Business, I've expanded my knowledge exponentially. The Fox School, I would like to say it's very highly competitive and it's ranked very high in the nation for its undergraduate business programs. But one class I feel I've gained the most knowledge from is a class called Leadership and Organizational Management. In this class, I learned many different leadership styles and ways to motivate others that I work with. I learned mostly about cultures at the workplace and how to integrate within the company with the culture. And 
one thing that I learned in order to be successful in a business, you need to have the same missions, values, and visions as others you work with. One fact that still stands out to me that I learned in class is 50% of acquisitions between companies fail because they don't integrate the mission, values, and visions from both companies. Our professor for this class made us experience working with others firsthand by assigning a month-long project with others in the class. In my group, I had to adapt to task conflicts and other people's working styles in order to be successful. The most challenging part of the whole project was trying to schedule meetings as two people in my group commuted and they had very busy schedules. We first stormed and formed the whole group to try to get to know each other and we went through the decision making process and weighted the different solutions to see which was going to be the most successful. And also with the project, we went through a feedback evaluation program. So I learned how to give effective feedback to others without criticizing them or hurting our relationship. And then I also worked to effectively turn feedback that people gave to me to help learn from the mistakes I would make. And this experience ultimately helped me grow as I was thrown into an ordinary business situation that I am sure I will encounter many times throughout my business career.